I don't think math is a science at all, said Calvin to Hobbes one day. I think it's a religion. You add two numbers and they magically become a new number. It's a miracle. No one can see how that happens. You either believe it or you don't. Of course, that was the smart Alec Calvin trying to get out of studying math by declaring it a religion. For many of us, like Calvin, math has been the bane of our school years. But then, there are those few chosen ones with a higher aptitude and the serendipity of receiving guidance from an ideal teacher. Varadhan's high school teacher, Swaminatha Iyer, transformed math class into pleasure. And young Raghu, as he is known to his friends, was hooked forever. Andrei Kolmogorov, who developed the probability theory, read Vardhan's PhD thesis and was floored. This is not the work of a student, but of a mature master, he exclaimed. In 1963, Vardhan moved to USA. New York was an exciting place for the aspiring probabilist and the Courant Institute, where he did most of his life's work, provided him with a fertile intellectual environment. Srinivasa Varadhan went on to win numerous awards and accolades, including the impressive National Medal of Science from former President Barack Obama and the Padma Bhushan, one of the highest accolades in India. In 2007, he was awarded the highly prestigious Abel Prize for his remarkable contributions to the theory of large deviations. In his own words, this was a delightful moment in his life. Despite achieving the pinnacle of success in his chosen career, Varadhan hasn't changed much. He remains the same humble young boy at heart the son of a science teacher from a small town near Madras with an endearing, shy smile. He wears the cloak of success lightly and his intellectual brilliance with humility and restraint. The gauge of a truly great man. <laughs>